Well, I came across this therapy for the first time 10 years, 10 years ago. And I was working at an Ayurvedic hospital in a very small village in India. And every now and again, I would take a break. So I would take a break and go to Goa. And I actually found this practice through hippies in Goa, not through the doctors. And they didn't tell me a lot about it. Not a lot of people are willing to talk about this practice. So they didn't say too much. They just said to me, oh, it's something that we do and it promotes longevity and it promotes youthfulness and it promotes uh, strong energy. It helps you build your energy stronger. And that's all I knew really. And I thought, okay, that pretty, sounds pretty good. I'll, I'll try that. And I had no idea that my life was going to just be turned upside down by this therapy. This is Natalia, who lives in Baigola with her two small children and her husband. She works for a yoga studio. She's got a background in psychology and also Ayurvedic therapy. That's the traditional medicine of India. It's what we'd call here naturopathy. And they share quite similar elements in it. Now, the therapy, she was just talking about it. You heard correctly. It basically involves drinking your own wee. And Natalia tells us that it completely turned her life upside down. She says it's not an alternative to medicine so much as a yoga cleansing technique. And it's been one that has been passed down by the yogis over centuries to purify the body's toxins. The idea of it is that you drink your own wee and when you feed your wee back into your own system, it's like giving your body a map of itself. It's telling your body all the information it needs to know. It's a Shivandu technique, which translates from Hindi to the water of Shivu, which is a god. And this makes urine the equal to holy water. Natalia swears by it and has been drinking this sacred water of hers for 10 years now. My first time tasting urine was in Goa when I was staying with a friend um, in his home and we started together and um, I remember the first, I just peed in a glass literally and went to the bathroom and swallowed, took one mouthful and almost gagged. Like I literally thought I was going to vomit. It was that bad. It took me a long time to get my head around that this taste is actually okay. It's not too bad. Um, so for a long time, I was still, it didn't put me off trying, off, off attempting the therapy. And, it, and I was adamant I was going to stick to it. I, I have a very, I'm a very strong-minded person. So I thought, okay, I can't bear the taste of it but I still want to do it. I don't want to compromise the purity of it. So for a long time, I actually used a syringe. I used a syringe without the needle, of course, and I used to squirt it at the back of my throat so I didn't have to taste it. And I stuck to it every day for, for a good, you know, a good, I don't know, maybe 18 months I did it like that until it just became normal to me. My daily ritual is, um, well, I'll, I'll wake up normally, go to the bathroom like everybody else and catch the midstream in a, of my urine first thing in the morning in a glass. I'll usually just ingest that straight back in, brush my teeth, have my shower. It's pretty simple. Well, two of our youngest contributors, brothers Lee and, Liam and Dita, came to our latest programming meeting and they were talking about secret recipes and they said, well, our grandfather once tried this therapy, which was urine therapy. Their grandfather was a tall, athletic man. He didn't smoke or drink. He was a total health freak. Yet, when he was 61, he was diagnosed with prostate cancer. He tried everything. He took special herbal teas from Germany that cost hundreds of dollars. He drank a special juice that came from America, which also cost a lot of money. He tried also the more traditional forms of treatment, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and finally surgery. And then when none of this was working, he also heard about this urine therapy. And Liam and Dieter grew up with this, with this knowledge of, of that this was the therapy that their grandfather had turned to at the very last moment. Unfortunately, it's very sad, he died, and Liam and Dita, when they're about six years old, but it is the story of their grandfather's 
quest to find out all these possible treatments that inspired Liam and Dita to find Natalia and talk to her about this therapy. And Liam and Dita's grandfather's story is a pretty similar one of the different people that come to Natalia seeking out not necessarily this treatment, but they're often at the end of the road and are really desperate to search for new alternative medicines. So as Liam and Dita searched for the story about their grandfather, they also find, found the story about Natalia and this amazing, quite incredible, bizarre technique. I get a lot of emails from people all over the world who are very lost for answers and um, where they've got a situation where really the medical profession cannot help. Some people come to me, they've already known about it, so they're quite open. Some people see me for years before I feel like they're actually ready to even consider this. So by that stage, by the time I approach them with the possibility of having this therapy, um, they've already, you know, they've, they've known me enough to trust me and keep an open mind. Um, some people, I feel like when they come to see me, that's what they're there for, but they don't know it. And they're the ones the most shocked. And I usually ask them, okay, you know, there's a few ways that you, we can treat you for this, whatever is going on in their life or in their body. How unconventional do you want to be? And even the ones that say, oh yes, you know, I'm very open, I'm very unconventional. When I pull out this card, they usually at least laugh or fall, you know, if not fall off the chair. The most important point in, in this, let's use the word recipe in inverted commas, um, is the importance of having a really pure diet. Because what you're doing is you're actually recycling what you're putting into your body. So the purity um, of it is of, high, of highest importance. The, the, for, the, for it to be most effective, I think we can just pretty much sum it up as vegetarian, um, low CD diet, um, high, mostly organics, of course. To describe the taste, I cannot think of any other substance that even resembles it. Tastes like pee. <laughs> A very frank ending there from Natalia, who was telling us about the ancient yogic technique of urine therapy, drinking your own wee for, for health purposes. That story there was produced by Liam and Dita.